Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe video, and today we're going into Expanded with some Ultra Prism decks. And on my Sokaleo Magnezone video, I asked you guys, do you guys have any um, suggestions for Expanded Ultra Prism decks that you would want to see? So, I'll try and take as many considerations as I can, but yeah, today we're taking a look at Duskmane Necrozma Bronzong in Expanded. A deck that I think is kind of interesting. I don't think it's like too great. I think it is pretty flawed, but we'll see if Dustmane Necro uh, Dust Necrozma Bronzong is a good expanded deck. So let's take a look at the list that I have come up with today. So the idea of the deck is to just attack with Dustmane Necrozma's Meteor Tempest, use Bronzong's Metal Links to charge up your Dustmane Necrozma, and potentially do it every single turn. So it's kind of like an expanded version of the Magnezone list, sort of. Ma Bronzong is arguably better than Magnezone, because you don't have to run Rare Candy, it's easier to get into play. Its ability is a little more fluent, uh, thanks to Keldeo EX's Russian, also cards like Guzma and Switch. So Magnezone, has, or Bronzong, sorry, has some pretty good synergy with Dustmane Necrozma, in my opinion. Now, we'll take a look at the list and see what my card choices are. So straight up, we're playing three Dustmane Necrozmas. He is the main attacker, the one that is going to be taking one-shots. He can one-shot Zoar GXs. He can one-shot anything in Expanded, really, I, I guess, except for Waylord. If you play against Waylord, you can still do 220 damage a turn to them, which is still pretty pressurizing, to say the least. Um, but yeah, Dustmane just one-shots everything. 190 HP is pretty tanky, and it's nice. And that's the only, like, real main attacker in here. The other attackers are, like, Registeel, mainly just here for Turbo Arm as a way to just build up your Dustmane Necrozma slowly. Um, and I thought I would play it just for that Turbo Arm attack. I think it's still pretty useful. Um, we also play Sogaleo here with Radiant Star and Corona Impact. Radiant Star can obviously come in handy in the, in the, in the late game. Um, if, you know, your opponent snipes Bronzongs or gets rid of the Bronzongs for some reason, you do have access to Radiant Star. You have Corona Impact, which is a nice attack on a non-GX Pokemon. Um, so, Sogaleo is pretty good. And, of course, we got our four Bronzongs and four Bronzors. I have a split here. I'm actually kind of, it's a little, it's a little messy. In fact, I think we're just going to clean up a little bit. There we go. It's a little messy, but I do play two Hypnosis because Hypnosis is actually kind of useful. And I'm playing the Heavy Ball uh, Searchable Bronzor 2. And of course, we got our four Bronzongs with Metal Links. Bronzong Break wouldn't be terrible in this deck. I don't even know if I have one. I do have one. Bronzong Break isn't bad in here, but the object of the deck is really just one shot with Dustman every turn, not go for Bronzong Break. But you can always consider adding Bronzong Break to this deck if you want. But we're playing four Bronzongs with Metal Links. And you're probably like, okay, well, how are you going to build it up? Of course, we have Keldeo. Now, there's two different cards you can play in this deck to have this ability. There's Dusk, Dawnwings Necrozma, which kind of goes pretty nice with the theme of the deck, if you think about it, because Dustmane and Dawnwings in the same deck. But we also have Keldeo with Rush In. Now, here's why Keldeo is better, because it is not weak to dark. What is the very best deck in the expanded format right now? It is probably going to be Zoark GX variants. It's dominant in standard. It's just as dominant in expanded, if not more popular. Dawnwings Necrozma is a horrible choice to have in this deck that dark weakness is gone it's gonna bite you in the butt it's gonna bite you in the butt i think dawn wings is a horrible tech in this deck as the stand-in yeah it has 10 more hp but when you're playing at zork which is like at least a good like i don't know 80 percent of the expanded format right now it's, it's not gonna last long it's, it's useless keldeo is weak to grass yeah galissapod is kind of popular and expanded and there might be other grass types that i'm forgetting to name off the top of my head but I think it's better to have a Pokemon that is not weak to Zoark. Even though Keldeo can still easily get to KO'd by Zoark with Choice Band Skyfield, I, it's still a safer card to play. Plus, the full art is just beautiful. Um, we do play one or a Corio, mainly because Night March is a threat, and also this deck has an awkward Night March matchup. If you just Meteor Tempest and Joltik every turn, it's kind of weird. The tankiness and the resistance psychic is kind of useful against Pumpkaboos and Mew. Um, but Oracorio will just come in handy. We do not play Karen, so Oracorio is going to be your guy. We do play two Leles with Wonder Tag for that ability. And that's straight up it for the Pokemon. Other tech cards, I guess, to name some, you can play Aegislash EX, which would be good, but I think just because Hexmaniac is so popular, I don't think it's the safest expanded tech right now for metal types. There's other metal attackers like Salastila, which could be pretty useful in here. Also, you could play Genesect EX, you could play Dialga EX... Which I think Dialga wouldn't be a bad choice either, especially against Night March, where you can potentially take out, like, you can do the Jack Stack on a 
on a big old Mars Shadow, and then you can just do 80 damage to a Joltik. So Dialga wouldn't be bad either in here, to be honest with you. We'll go into the items. So we do play two battle comps. The idea of bronze on set metals in your discard. Only one way to do that, and that is with battle compressor. We do play one field blower. I wish I had room for two. But it's not like Garbodor is the most super popular deck in expanded. I barely run into it. Um, so I can just play one field blower. It's still useful to have to get rid of stadiums and tools. One heavy ball. Heavy ball can search you. Not for this bronze ore, but for this bronze ore. For your bronze on. For your Sogaleo, for your Registeel, and for your Dust Magnet Krasma. In all honesty, I think two Heavy Balls is honestly the way to go. One Stretcher to get your Pokemon back. I am playing Switch. The reason I'm playing Switch is because it still goes nicely with the whole idea. If you have two Dust Magnet Krasmas on your bench and you can swing and attack with them every single turn, you might as well play Switch. Also, it can be good with Keldeo. Four Ultra Balls to search for your Pokemon. Four Via Seekers for the supporters. One Mount Coronet. Sometimes you need metals in your hand because you don't have four bronzongs on your bench, right? Sometimes you just need to get metals back in your hand. Mount Coronet is the way to go. And also, I do want to play at least one stadium in this deck. I was considering Parallel City just because it could help against Zoark. Ultimately, I went with Mount Coronet. Parallel could be a good tech too because we don't play Soda Wodo and we can't play Soda Wodo unless we play a Skyfield version of this deck, which would make things too clunky. One Ace Roller. We can use Ace Roller with Dustmane because we get the energy back in our hand that we had on because we most likely will keep an energy on. But we can also Ace Roller heal. Um, we do have one AZ too. Um, again, it goes with that theme of healing. But the main reason we have AZ is to take something off on the bench to make room for something we need on the bench like Keldeo or another Bronzong or like Oracorio or another Dustmane Necrozma or Solaleo. That is why I do play a one AZ. One Bridget, I honestly wish I had room for two. One Chorus, um, three Cynthia's. I know it's pretty heavy, but I like playing three Cynthia's. I'm playing three copies of Sycamore to be able to get medals in the discard, also as an alternative. One in for draw and disruption. I am playing Hex Maniac. This is still really useful. It can help the Zork matchup a little bit more, shutting down trade. You can also shut down other big abilities too. So I think Hex is perfect. Because after you do Metal Links and Stand In or Rush In or whatever it's called, you know, you can just play Hex. Two Guzmas. To knocks the phone. Guzma just flows better with Bronzong instead of just going Guzma Lysander. Three Floatstones, no Fighting Fury Bells or Choice Bands are in this deck, so you're stuck doing a minimal amount of damage with Dustmane, but again, you're one-shotting mostly everything except for Wailord, but I, I mean, Wailord's never gonna take a prize, what am I saying, but I don't know, if Sun's Eclipse ever happens, there you go. And I'm playing 11 Metal Energies to be able to attack, and I think 11's a pretty good amount. 10 might be a little safer, but 11 is a little better so I'm going to go with 11 for today's deck. And this is my Dustmade Necrozma Bronzong Expanded deck. Let's go find some games with it on the Expanded format. Let's see how many times I have to cry because I'm playing against Zoark. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you guys in a minute with some matches in Expanded. Alright guys, let's find a match with our deck. Shout out to you if you get the deck name, by the way, if you get what that means. But anyways, let's see how this deck goes. Game 1's going to be against Night March, I'm calling it. Oh wow, it's against, it looks like Garb Buzzwell, which kind of sucks because Garb and I like the outfit. Looks like it's Charizard Wars, so we'll see who goes first. We go first, which is nice. We can beat this matchup, but the problem is Garb Odor shuts down Bronze Bomb. The Oracorio dreaded start is not a favorable thing. I mean, if, I mean, actually, I don't know, maybe if he starts with Buzzwell, we can do like 60 damage to it with Revelation Dance. That'd be pretty funny if you ask me. Alright, let's see what my opponent is going to start with. Hopefully he doesn't bench a Trubbish here. I am hoping I do not see a Trubbish. I mean, he might not be playing... Go oh, he's not. He's playing Rayquaza. Okay, this is kind of nice, to be honest with you. The reason is because he's going to play Skyfield, which could help me set up a Quad Bronze on play. The one turn I did not need Bridget to be prized. No. Oh, Bridget is prized. That is so annoying. Well, that just completely ruins everything. I think I'm going to Sycamore and just dump this hand. That really sucks. Bridget being, ply Ugh, Bridget being prized is horrible. This was... We could have had a pretty good start. Someone was just calling me on FaceTime. I don't know if... Oh, oh my... Dude, stop calling me. I'm going to decline it 20 times. Um, it's just... It's one of my friends, though. But I'm not going to answer. So, we'll attach and pass. Mega Ray is an interesting matchup. 
Uh, this does make me wish I played Parallel City, but I wasn't expecting Mega Ray. Mega Ray is not too popular anymore. She's gonna DCE. She's gonna Skyfield. So Skyfield's in play. Mallow. Okay, looks like he doesn't have anything. And I think I can do. Well, my plan was to bridge it and then do Chorus. Of some bridge of surprise, might have to just end him here. So I don't want to Sycamore away my Via Seekers like that. So Shaman, okay, so never mind. He actually will be able to set up. But if he takes out Oracorio, it's like whatever. The only question is, is are we going to be able to knock him out? I don't think we will. If, we, if Bridget was in prize, potentially we actually could have knocked him out, which kind of makes me a little upset. But let's see if he pulls off a Mega Turbo. So he's going to Hoopa. Whoa, okay, hold on. Why is my webcam so dark all of a sudden? I don't know if you guys noticed that. Uh, what the heck? I don't know, okay, for some reason my webcam is like super dark right now. I It looks like I'm literally playing in the dark, but my light's on. I don't know why, why is the lighting so bad all of a sudden? We'll see a computer search. He didn't get rid of an energy though, so that's good. So we don't have to worry about Mega Turbo. If we can live this turn, we can definitely take a knockout soon, but I'm scared of Guzma. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, Ultra Ball, and it's a shiny one. And he got energy in the discard, rip me. Wow, that scares a shame. He's going off right now. He is going off. I think we lose Oricorio. I don't know what to do. I'd have to find Keldeo and like I'd have to go into Reggie Steel. Uh, yeah, oh, he does play Soda Water, by the way. I saw the Fighting Types. That's what that Fighting Type was. I'd have to go into Registeel. Or Sogaleo. Let's try and buy some time. I could, I could hit no. <gasps> we live the turn. Yo, that's lit. Um, so we can put down the Bronzong. I am going to end him, though I do want a Chorus. But we know his hand is pretty massive. So I think it's safe to end him. So yeah, we can end him. Um, well, yeah, Chorus gets us, what, seven cards? Might as well win. I could put Mount Coronet down. Praying again, energy. Okay, perfect. So we got Bronze Ore, too, which is good. So we knock this out. We can send, send the Oh, wow, I just helped them. I did not want to see that smiley face. That is not what I wanted to see. So we'll catch. And pray that we do not lose my Destiny and Cosmo. That smiley face is not looking too good, though. Mega Turbo, all right, please do not have Guzma knockout. Please do not. Oh, he's gonna knock me. I already know it. Even though he's down to Ultra Balls, I have a feeling my Sogaleo is going to meet its doom today. But if we knock him out, he might not be able to follow with a knockout. I think we knock him out and find Mount Coronet will be pretty nice. Or Field Blower. Okay, Soda Wodo kind of sucks. This is where AZ comes in handy because we can AZ the Lele or like something off the bench we don't want to have on the bench. This is why I do play AZ in this deck. I don't know why my face cam went so dark, though. This is kind of annoying. I don't know how to fix it. I... Oh, no. Oh, he's knocking out bronze on. Never mind. Okay. All right, never mind. Cool. Uh, my face cam is so dark. He's actually passing. Okay, let's see what he's doing. We could just AZ. This works out fine for me. We can hit him with a nice AZ. Sure, so we can knock him out. We can put down Bronzor again. We can put down Bronzong. I might actually put an energy on Tapu Lele, and I think I am going to do that. Uh, the reason I'm doing this mainly just because I want to kind of do something for now. I would have liked to have gotten rid of that Stadium, but it's fine. We will knock out his Mega Ray. Just enough damage, too. And we will take our prize. The only problem is, can we follow up? That's the question. If we maybe got a Keldeo, we could have AZ'd, like, or Corio. Went from there. We might be okay though for now. As long as he doesn't respond with a knockout, we should be okay. But I really don't know why my face cam got so dark. Can I fix it here in the recording?
Let me see. Let me see. I'm, I'm gonna try and... I know this is very, very cool, but I am gonna try and... I need to fix my... Okay. Alright, hopefully... No, that just made it really white. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so professional, guys, I know, but... Ah, uh, why did my webcam go all dark all of a sudden? I don't get it. The lighting was actually not bad, and now it's all dark. I am concerning more about the lighting in my room, in my webcam, than I am about the fact that my, we're not really going to be able to spawn next turn with a knockout. What if I turn on the gamma? Whoa. Alright, whatever. Let's just leave it how it is. I think, okay, actually it fixed. It's a little bit better now. We'll see. I don't, actually, I think the game forces you to bring something out. Like, it does it for you if you're not playing. So I think he, like, just straight up is idle right now. He's AFK. I think the game just brought out my gear in a form. Let's find out. Kind of makes this game a little less interesting. He's not playing, but I mean, you need to play for the first part, so it's fine. <laughs> so let's find out what happens next. Yeah, I, uh, he's definitely not playing. I think, yeah, the game definitely like kind of brought. Oh, you can see it. <laughs> that game went quick. I'm fine with that because. We kind of had a bit of a pickle there with our... The fact that our setup wasn't the greatest, like, Oricario was pretty useless, but I'm fine with him not playing. I'll take the free win any day of the week. And I'll catch you guys in a minute for another match. So see you guys in a moment. All right, guys, let's get another game. But before we do that, we got some packs to open up. For some reason, I have two locked evolution packs, so don't know why I have two, but I will not complain about that. So we will see... Not really looking for anything in this set, to be honest with you. I guess, maybe... I don't know. Whoa, now I have three locked... Okay, what is going on? I don't know why... Are these actually locked, though? They're not. Wait, why does it say I have two locked packs? Okay, well, I don't know why they... I mean, technically, this is actually a pretty good pack, but... I... Okay, now this one is locked. Um... Okay, all right, must be some glitch. I don't know what's going on there, but we will find another match with our deck. For some reason, I couldn't open those packs. I mean, it doesn't, like, matter. It's evolutions, right? Even if I do open it, you know, it's... the set's so bad anyways, it's like, honestly, if you get a good enough rare, you can probably get more value. I can probably get more value out of that Charizard and Hitmonchan than that pack I opened up. <laughs> so, whatever. We're going to lose the coin flip, but we'll see what we're up against. It looks like Golisopod, potentially Golisopod Garb. And we'll see how this matchup goes. So, double Bronzong start. And a Mulligan, obviously. And let's see. So, we're going to start with... Oh, that would have been a pretty good hand. Okay, so he's playing a Venusaur deck. Genesect is going to be kind of weird because we're doing 220 damage to a Genesect. But, you know, if he's playing something else, I'm fine. Um, it does suck we're Mulliganing a couple times. This does help him a little bit. So, hopefully this is not a Mulligan. Alright, that hand is pretty insane, but whatever, I'll take it. I shall take it. It's better than nothing. And we'll see what kind of a grass deck it is. So he's playing Golisopod, and he's playing Dewpider. He Okay, I was going to say he's doing a daily Evo, but he's not. So he's actually playing the game. He's going to attach to Wimpod. He's going to put Aether Paradise down, which is fine. It doesn't affect Golisopod, which is good. And then I don't think we'd one-shot it, so that's fine. He's going to put down Lele. We'll see if he ends or does Bridget or Sycamore or Hex Maniac. So he's going to do Bridget. All right, we'll see if he has Rare Candy Venusaur. I mean, Venusaur isn't really something that even matters for Golisopod because it's like, it's one energy attack is like better than Armor Press a lot of the time. But we shall see what he grabs. Probably going to grab Double Bulbasaur and another Grass type. Hopefully we can just plow through the GXs here. That's kind of going to be the way to win, I think. It kind of sucks because we do have Keldeo, so that's an easy target for him. This is, I mean, you know, Zorark's more popular than Golisopod or Grass in, in general, so it's whatever. We'll see if he actually retreats. Probably not, because he put the DC on. Alright, let's see what he does. Alright, he passes. Alright, what do we draw? We do a field blower, I guess we'll take it. It would have been nice to, you know, maybe, pardon me, do what's his face. Get rid of a choice band, but luckily 190 HP is enough to take a hit. So we're going to Lele for Sycamore, 
and I gotta just pray he doesn't have some kind of really good hand. We are gonna go down a Bronzong, which kind of sucks. I could, I mean, I could Cynthia too, but I'd rather do Sycamore. Besides, all our Bronzongs are in the deck. Um, and plus, we have Stretcher. I mean, one Bronzor is prize, but that matches up perfectly then. So that's fine. So two medals in the discard isn't a bad. Well, three actually is not bad at all. Okay, we do actually we can do an interesting combo here. I can actually do battle compressor, and I can get rid of. Hmm. I can get another bronze ore down. I think I'm gonna do it. This is a very weird battle compressor, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna get rid of AZ. Actually. We'll get rid of Hex. No. We'll get rid of Guzma. I'm probably going to get rid of two supporters. So we'll get rid of Hex. Just so we can set him up for Via Seeker. This is the funniest Rescue Stretcher play I've ever done in my life. But we can Stretcher for another Bronzor. i really like to retreat into Oracorio though. Not going to lie. That would be pretty nice to do. Dustmane Necrozma definitely will not get knocked out this turn. Because if it's HP. But I don't think we're going to be able to knock him out in return. But if he knocks me out, I can send him up for Sunsteel Strike, so then I don't... No, not Sun... Why do I... It's not called that, it's called Sun's Eclipse. Same thing. They both have Sun in the name, but I can set up for a Sun's Eclipse. So he's going to Evo Soda. He is going to get Golisopod down, unfortunately. And we'll see if he has a Grass Energy to follow up. It's a little unfortunate that he was going first. Oh, he has it. Oh, whatever. It can't be Venusaur. Sycamore... I mean, da, 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 that's my good. Okay, he doesn't get Venusaur. He does get Ivysaur. Palpad's a weird card to see in expanded decks, but okay. We'll see what he does. He's probably going to Armor Press, because then he can take a hit from Meteor Tempest. At this point, Dustmane Necrozma is kind of just cannon fodder. I mean, I could, I could AZ it, I guess. Maybe bring out Lele. Okay, we drew a Guzma. I could Chorus. I think I just Sycamore. We gotta get another Dustmate Necrozma down. Alright, we didn't get a Bronzong though, and not even a Float. Dude, I needed that Floatstone, bro. Why didn't I have the Floatstone? Alright, well, that's kind of annoying. We'll have to. Maybe I should have actually put energy on Tapu Lele, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll put down Bronzor. Unfortunately, we are gonna get knocked out. We will be able to knock him out in return though, with a Sun's Eclipse. I can, I can, I'll attach the active, I'll do a big chorus, go from there. So we'll see Ultra Ball for Venusaur, I'm guessing. It's a weird Galissapod. Well, maybe he's playing the, oh, maybe he's, no, I saw the Shiny Legends. I was thinking he's playing the Dark Explorer's Venusaur. He might play the Split, I don't know. He might play both, but I don't see the point in playing DCE with Galissapod and Venusaur. That's a pretty unnecessary combo, to be quite honest with you. As long as you have two grass energies, you're fine. So he's gonna get a baby Galissapod. But luckily with a choice band that can't even one shot my Dustmane Necrozma. So we are still gonna be in range of not getting killed. And we knock him out with the uh, Corona, which is nice. So we'll see if we can get a knockout here. We'll see what we draw. Keldeo. I don't even know if I want to use it at this point. So we're going to Sun's Eclipse them, so I think it's safe just to put you down. Um, We're going to Chorus for a 9 card hand. Hopefully we get everything we need. We... How did we whiff it? You're... Oh, what, dude? Did we actually just whiff? everything we needed to do to knock him out. How does that happen off of nine cards? What the heck is that, dude? How do I whiff the knockout? What, like, huh? I had everything too in the deck. I, I don't understand how I whiff this knockout. That is so frustrating. What kind of look is that? We didn't get a single float stone to knock him out with Sun's Eclipse. I, I... 
Bro, I do not understand this game right now. I am very, very, very annoyed. <sighs> How does that happen? We're gonna have to treat in case he has a choice band. I don't know why we whiffed, but we can do this. Maybe I'll put an, uh, uh, I could put an energy on Lele, but Lele's useless. I'll probably just do Ace Rolla anyways. But bruh, how did I whiff that? <laughs> Dude, that is so insane. Aether Paradise is fine because it only applies for basics. We'll see a Sycamore. He's probably gonna do Crossing Cut. Which is fine by me, but if I, I mean, if I can draw, like, via Seeker, I'll be happy. You put Venusaur on play, but it's basically useless. Because he's already got the DC on it. He's just gonna do Crossing Cut. He's probably actually gonna bring in Dewpider. No, okay, never mind, he's actually bringing in Glissip. You know what, game, I, that is not nice. You give me Floatstone right after I didn't need it. We didn't get... It'd be a seeker though, which is also unfortunate. I guess we just knock him out with Corona Impact. I'm not a huge fan of that idea, but we'll do it anyways. Well, I guess maybe I can. <sighs> maybe I can like retreat. I could float retreat, Suns Eclipse him, but I don't have another metal energy. Plus Lele will hit you pretty hard. So I think I just knock him out with Corona Impact here. I'm not gonna play Bonzong's ability to Dust Main Necrozma because Lele can hit me. But that whiff knockout is a little sad, and that might set us back a little bit, but we'll see if we can recover. He's actually gonna do Pider, which is interesting. I'm fine if he knocks me out with Bubble because I can actually just Guzma this Golisopod and knock it out with Sun's Eclipse. So he's gonna do Cynthia. I wouldn't mind any name here. Do we have it in the discard? We do not. I think it's in the deck though. I'm pretty sure I saw it. So you can knock me out with Bubble, which is fine. We can knock out Golisopod. And I can put down Keldeo. Really sucks I'm not ending him, though. There's another bronze on, which is nice. I wouldn't mind my other dust mean across me. So. We'll do this. We'll metal links to the dust mean across me. Actually, no, why did I do that? Wait, I'm going to sense Eclipse. Okay, that was a dumb misplay. I don't know why I did that. I guess we'll knock him out with Meteor Tempest, then. Hold on. Here's what we'll do. We'll put in we'll, we'll knock him out Meteor Tempest, and I guess we can save we can save Meteor Temp we can save Sun's Eclipse for rainy day, I guess. It might actually I mean if it, here's the here's my logic. So maybe if he knocks out Keldeo at some point we lose that stand in ability. So maybe that's relevant. So we'll take out Galissapod. I could take out Venusaur too if I really wanted to. But Galissapod is the obvious threat. And we can knock him out with Meteor Tempest. We can save Sun's Eclipse for a rainy day, so I'm fine with that. It's less energy, which might actually make all the difference. And then, yeah, we'll be good. So we'll see what our prize is. Heavy Ball and Ultra Ball, alright. Heavy Ball's good if my opponent gets to knock out this turn, or I can get my third bronze on. He can bubble me, but we have Keldeo. Okay, Shining Genesect kind of sucks. I'm probably going to do another Guzma and just knock out... I mean, how many Via Seekers are left? Okay, we got one after this. So maybe I just... I'll take out Genesect here and then finish off Lele down the road. It's fine by me. He's good at DCE. I don't know why you're playing DCEs, but I'm not, you know, going to complain. It's, it's, I'd honestly rather DC be on this thing than a Grass Energy. So I am perfectly happy with that. He's going to Sycamore, so no N, which is really nice. And that's good. He's gonna Evo Soda. He's gonna go into Aqu 
disappointed. But he can't attack me now because he did not... You know, that 10 damage could have been pretty relevant too, to be honest with you. Especially with the other Galissapod. And even Lele to a degree, so... He can attack me here. He can move the energy with energy reload, which he might do, and then try and Guzma my Keldeo, I guess, is what his plan is, but... We are going to Guzma the Genesect and knock it out. He's actually not even energy reload, alright. So we can attack him, because it's... Okay, yeah, it's fire Pokemon. So we'll Heavy Ball for Bronzo. Okay, so the thing is prized. We do have our last Via Seeker, though, which is important. And we can save Defloat Stone. So, we will Guzma... Or maybe I just knock out Lele, because I all I need is one prize. Which I think is easier to do than... Yeah, it's easier to take one prize here. So we'll Metal Link. So we can just stash a bunch of energy on these things. I'm, I don't think I'm in really in range of getting KO'd by the Genesect anytime soon. So I can just put a bunch of energies on my Dustmate Necrozma here. To set up for another thing. Because I don't know, he could knock out Keldeo. And I don't know even... I think he's used two Lele's and I doubt he has one left. So we will retreat. I could Ultra Ball. Nah, we'll hold it. We'll just knock him out with Meteor Tempest. And we're good. And then next turn, we should take the knockout, hopefully. We'll take our two prizes. This doesn't mean we can't do Sun's Eclipse anymore, I guess. But, oh, Switch is huge. Switch means we win the game if he knocks out Keldeo. Which, you know, I was assuming he was going to try and knock out Keldeo. But the game is over, unless unless he can somehow give Genesect enough HP to take a hit. He's going to end me to 1. Okay, that completely ruins that. I probably should have put Floatstone down. But I don't think he's had a Field Blower yet. Well, he has. Alright, Cynthia. Cynthia's pretty nice. He's going to drop Shaman, but he's already done a support for the turn. The best thing he's probably looking for here is like... I mean, if that was a Grass Energy, he'd actually have a Knockout. I think we live. If we get knocked out, I'm going to be sad, but I'm pretty sure he's not doing enough damage to knock me out. I think Lele could knock him out, too, with all the Metal Links we can do, because he has a lot of energy on him. Because each Grass Energy does count as two energies. <laughs> we just straight up drew the Floatstone. I feel bad. A bit of a weird... I mean, it's a weird deck because he plays DCE, and it kind of did cost him, because if, you know, he knocked out Dustmane here, you know, what would I do, but... At the end of the day, Dustmane Bronzong comes out on top, just barely though. You know, we kind of struggled this matchup. We kind of did struggle here a little bit, but Meteor Tempest at the end was able to clean up and take the victory on this Genesect Venusaur deck. And there you go, free win. I don't think they've done that update yet that I saw on Reddit yesterday. So I don't, know. maybe they did, I don't know. But we are gonna win that game. Pretty nice game, I'd say. Showed off the deck beautifully. Um, we'll probably find one more game. That was barely a match. Well, the first game was... Has it done the update? They have, yeah. I think they have, because... Yeah, because the 50 coins weren't there before. Pretty sure they buffed the ladder rewards, I heard. Maybe it's the next ladder. But I don't know. So we'll find another game. Night March. Nice name, Fred. N Night March. Great, great. Night March is... Probably going to be an L. We'll, we'll probably take an L. Lose the coin flip. I mean, it doesn't matter because if he wins it, same thing. It's actually, yeah, so he's definitely playing Nightmare because let me go first. Do have Oracorio, but I don't think that's going to be enough to win the game. I don't know, man. Nightmare is not a fun match at all. We do a Bronzong, which is nice, so we'll do Tapu Lele here for Bridget. We'll grab double Bronzor. I guess we'll grab Dustmane Necrozma. Or maybe the other no, because it's Solgaleo. I'm assuming he's gonna knock me out this turn, so what I'm gonna do is just put down we can probably do a Sun's Eclipse is what I'm saying. I really wish I had an energy in my hand though, to attach. But I'm actually gonna save the Keldeo and bring out Lele, and I'm going to pass. No energy kind of stings a little bit, but should be good. And we'll see. If Lele goes down, I'm sad. If he doesn't go down, I might be okay. We'll see. He is going to play. He's playing Zoark, so our way to win maybe could be knocking out a Zoark or a GX every turn. 
And we have Oracorio, which, you know, we can take out two GXs and then Oracorio can take out like two Pumpkaboos or something. So there's possibilities here. So he is going to do an N. Okay, that is perfectly fine. That's basically a second supporter for me. And yeah, I'm not really losing anything. So we'll see if our N can give us a knockout this turn. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Now, the cool thing with Dustman and Necrozma, if he attacks me with Mew or Pumpkaboo, it's like, we're going to take a hit because we're resistant Psychic. So that's another good thing. The 190 HP is pretty clutch, too, not going to lie. He's going to battle comp, put some my marches, but again, we got your boy Oracorio chilling. Ultra Ball. He's gonna grab Shaman. He plays Tauros. I don't. Why did? Why does Nightmarch play Tauros? I'll never understand that. Someone want to update me on why Nightmarch plays Tauros? I guess it's for the mirror. I have no clue. But that is more Pokemon he puts in the discard. So that's what three, seven, eight. So he's got eight Pokemon in the discard. So we are doing eighty damage. He's gonna put Life Dew down, which is fine. We have Field Blower plus he's got two Shamans, so I can easily take out another Shaman at some point. Is he knocking me out, though? Nope, we're living. So, Tapu Lele surviving the turn is actually kind of nice. But 10 HP. Oh, oh, wow. That should... That is illegal. That is illegal. I really wish, though, we did get knocked out now. Um, by... What's his face? Thing. But what we can do is we can... Get rid of... Probably just AZ. And double energy. Actually, do we have Chorus? I'm gonna Chorus. I'm gonna put down the second dust main necrozma. We don't need Oracorio right now. It's no point. If we reveal it, you know, he'll have a better strategy for later. And no other threats on the board, so we might actually, if we do somehow get a knockout here, which no, I think no, we're not going to. Yeah, because we whiffed the attachment last turn. Maybe I let him knock out a bronze on then. I think we sacrifice Lele, maybe try and end him if he doesn't get a Zoark. Yeah, we'll, we'll spread out the energy in case we get knocked out. And I'll Ultra Ball. I'll probably get rid of a Sycamore and an AZ. Don't really know what I'm looking I guess we can take Ready Steel out of the deck. It doesn't even do enough damage to one shot a Joltik. But you never, we might still need it just because. I think if I didn't put Dustmane down, I probably would have went to a Ready Steel though. But we will Suns Eclipse him and knock him out. He's going to put DC on Zoroark. He's gonna get Zoark, okay, so that end play is not looking good. I'm probably not gonna put Lele down anyways. Probably just gonna do Cynthia and bench Sogaleo, Prism Star. Because if we can get another nice non-GX Docker, we can maybe help the prize trade. How many VS Seekers have got through none? So we could easily still see some Guzma plays to knock me out if I try and hit him with a non-GX attacker. Two VS Seekers going down the drain. He does play Puzzle though, which is kind of annoying, but he can only do one double puzzle. She's going to do trade, getting rid of another Night Marcher, but that's fine. The more Pokemon in your discard pile, the more damage Oracorio does. If I could take, I mean, I could take two prizes maybe, and then I finish off Shaman, I could win the game with Oracorio. Because there's definitely enough Pokemon in there at this point. He gets rid of a Float Stone, which is nice. Now he doesn't have that free treat option. He's got another Zorba. Okay, no Night Marchers, but this is fine. That is 6, 8, 19. Okay. He's going to attach a Muscle Band. He's going to Battle Comp. Alright, throw more Pokemon in the discard, be my guess. I might actually be able to take out Shaman and Zorua here. 700, 120, oh no, never mind. We're just doing 120 damage, but that's fine. Maybe the better play is to take out Shaman now. And he's retreating, okay, I don't know why you're doing that. but Well, I guess he wants to save the one-shot potential, that's fine. I guess we can just, yeah, maybe we just take out Marshadow here. Don't know if that's the right play, but I think it is. I don't know if I want to bench Lele though. But I do not mind taking out that Marshadow that takes out his one shot capabilities. Sucks I gotta put another Lele down. It's fine though, we get to Guzma. We take out Marshadow, get rid of that one shot potential. And we'll see if he's able to. He'll probably get get a knockout, but it's fine. And then maybe then we try and do play with um, 
or a Corio next turn. Because that's 13 Pokemon to discard. So we'll take two prizes. Let's see what we find. Metal Energy. Another Bronzor is not terrible either. Alright, let's see if he's able to knock me out this turn with another attacker. Another Zorg. That's not good. So now we can't take out Zorg. Teammates. Nope, he has a knockout, of course. That's definitely a knockout. I'm praying that he just screws up and forgets to attach. But I'm pretty sure it's just a knockout. He's gonna take me out with Joltik, I think. We could do a double puzzle, which doesn't make things any better. He could just take the Marsh Shadow on the deck. Man. <laughs> I don't know why I'm whispering. Maybe I'm just salty. Does he even have a knockout? I think it's a knockout. Trade. Please live. If Dustmane lives, we might have a better shot of winning the game. But if he gets knocked out, there's literally nothing I can do. Oh, I hate Night March with a burning passion, but we will try and do our best to win this, but it's not going to happen. He'll just have another teammate. I, I don't know, man. I really don't want to knock him out with Dustmane. But we don't have enough resources to knock him out with one of our other guys. So, at the very least, we can come very close to winning. So, we'll do Cynthia. I would have liked to have ended him there. Okay, we got to work Oreo. We'll put that down. Would have been a good turn to work but he might have the game anyways, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to do Stretcher and put Lele back into my hand. You never know, we might need it. We'll knock him out, and we will see if Night March is able to win, or we get lucky and we are able to win this turn with Oracorio. It's all down to this. Hex Maniac would have been so nice though last turn, but it's fine. I and mean, if we lose the game, it's whatever. We came pretty close to winning. We'll see. He brought around Zoark. He's gotta have Guzma game. He's gotta have the Guzma. He hasn't even played one yet. He's definitely gonna have game this turn, though. I. There's no way he's not gonna win. You can VS Seeker for teammates. Hmm. Okay, he's gonna Hex Maniac. But we can just Ace Roll and win. And this is why Ace Rolla is in the deck, guys. <sighs> Don't know how we just did that. I how did, oh we just drew the energy. <laughs> oh, how did we just win this game? I have no clue. I have no clue how we just won this game, guys. I really don't. But I am not gonna complain. We are just gonna take the victory here on this deck. Night March, eat something, and Lead the format. Ban Battle Compressor. Hashtag Ban Battle Compressor. The movement has started. Ban Battle Compressor and Tropical Beach. So we'll take out Shaman if it lets us. And that'll wrap up the video. So there you go. We beat Night March. Surprisingly. Well, we get more damage. I'm just going to click a little faster because it doesn't matter. But we beat Night March. I'm happy. I hate Night March. I hate it with a passion. But we are able to beat Night March in a pretty good succession. And we got 100 coins. And I think that's enough to buy it back. No, it's not. No. Shoot, we're short. But we opened up some Evolutions packs. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to Home in the Road to 3,000 subscribers. If you are new, make sure to hit that sub button. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. And also, let me know what you thought of the deck. I like this deck. And also, shout out to you if you get the title of the deck. If you under if you get what the title means, then you are a true legend. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you guys later on another video. Peace.